Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at the second example of outliers and residual graphs. So here is an example looking at the parcel weight um, of things put through the post. So what we've got, this is our decomposed graph and we can see down the bottom section we have, this is the residual section that we're going to be focusing on. So this is when we've the data has removed the trend and the seasonal pattern and this is the variation left over once those two pieces have been removed. So what we need to do is we need to, from the original data, find our absolute highest and lowest values. So our absolute highest is reasonably obvious, is this value right up there and that's going to be at 511 and then I want to look for my lowest value and this is much harder to see but it's going to be one of these points down the bottom which I think works out to be a value of about 2. So our absolute highest value is 511 and our absolute lowest is a value of 2. So now we need to do our calculation and remember that we expect a variation of 10% above and below the trend would be normal and we want to see what's happening beyond that. So I'm going to do my 511, take away the 2, divide that by my 10% and that's going to give me plus or minus 50.9. So that's how much variation would be acceptable. So when we've come to draw our graph, you can see there we've got our trend like there's our middle line at 0 gone down by 50 and up by 50 and that's where these two lines have been drawn. Okay, so now I'm going to look along the whole of the data and I'm going to look for points that are outside of those limits. Okay, and so the main one that stands out is this one over there. So I want to identify when that occurs. And so when I go and have a look, I find that that is in November in 2012. So this is what I want to write about. So I can say looking at that residual graph, there's one point outside of the limits. So this is November 12, and the weight of the parcels was much larger than expected. So that's what I want to identify is the fact that it is much larger, because it could have been much smaller than expected. So we need to be able to say whether it is more or less than normal. 